Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNO Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Journalism and New Media Studies, Sojans, Bachelor of Arts, Journalism and Digital Media, Basdam, Semester I, BNM, 0 to 1 Introduction to Journalism and Digital Media, Block to Journalism and Media in the Digital Age, Unit 3 Emergence of Digital Media, 3.0 Introduction. From reading newspapers to watching television, from listening to the radio and watching films, every media consumption. Experience has been affected by the emergence of digital media. Newspapers are being read on laptops, tablets and smartphones. Even while reading the print version, there is always a temptation to go online to watch a video using a certain app. Online, mediums the world over are giving tough competition to print and TV. Many people consume media messages not from established television channels but by subscribing to YouTubers. Radio sets are often unused in households as people are tuned into their favorite channels through smartphones. The medium has not only affected the consumption pattern but also the way media messages are produced. New technologies have impacted every function in a media house. Old ways of working on certain products have been replaced by new ways of packaging information influenced by new technologies. In this unit, we shall discuss the emergence of digital media, the digital media landscape opportunities and challenges that come with digital media and its impact on traditional media. Different terms are used interchangeably for digital media like online media, new media, ICT, etc. All these terms will be discussed for your conceptual understanding 3.1 learning outcomes. After going through this unit, you will be able to times describe what digital media is and how it has impacted the media landscape, times articulate the effect of digital media on legacy media and how legacy media has adapted to recent technological advancements, times analyze the challenges posed by digital media and times explore and use digital tools for constructing media messages 3.2 Defining Digital Media Every industry is relooking and reinventing various processes like production, resource management, and marketing and is aligning them to the rules of the digital world. The media industry, too, has undergone a sea change through the digital transformation process. Every function of a media organization has been affected by new technologies in recent years. While some media houses were prompt and active in embracing these changes, others lagged. Laggards, though, could not resist the change for long and had to hop onto the digital wagon to survive in the industry. Slowly, they, too, embraced technology's meaningful role in the digital world 3.2.1 Understanding Digital, Online and New Media In the context of media, Several terms are used interchangeably, like new media, information and communication technologies, digital media, online media, multimedia, convergence media, etc. There are some overlaps, but the meaning varies with the context. Let us explore the meaning of these terms, times information and communication technologies, according to the World Bank, ICT consists of hardware, software, networks, and media for the collection, storage, processing, transmission, and presentation of information, voice, data, text, images, times digital media. The digital process breaks down all information, data, text, graphics, audio, pictures, or video into a sequence of numbers. Digits transports it by wire cable or broadcast frequency to a destination and then reassembles it back into its original form. Digital media refers to audio, video and photo content that has been encoded, digitally compressed. Encoding content involves converting audio and 
video input into a digital media file like a Windows media file. After digital media is encoded, it can be easily manipulated, distributed and rendered, played by computers and is easily transmitted over computer networks. Examples of digital media types include Windows Media, Audio, WMA, Windows Media Video, WMV, MP3, JPEG, and a week times new media, new media refers to those digital media that are interactive, incorporate to way communication and involve some form of computing as opposed to old media such as telephone, radio and TV, according to Robert Logan, 2010, dot, times online media, this generic term is often used loosely to describe digital, information access, retrieval or dissemination. This means accessing information on the internet via a modem or telephone line times multimedia. This means using more than one media technique, text, audio, still images, moving images to tell a story. A multimedia news story is any piece that uses two or more media to tell it. The above mentioned terms are deeply linked and thus are difficult to distinguish. The significance of limiting this definition is largely contextual. While information and communication technology encompasses everything from hardware to software and includes information dissemination, the focus is on what makes any information digital in the digital media definition. In New Media, Stress is on how digital media is used with interaction and two-way communication as its important feature. Multimedia combines two or more media techniques, which is easily possible only when the information is available in digital format. While there is an overlapping basis, each of these terms has some distinct feature. For this chapter, the term digital media will include online platforms, social media, new digital tools, and new ways of packaging and disseminating information. All in the media industry context, 3.3 characteristics of digital media, there has been a massive growth in the popularity of the digital media world over the last decade. In fact, digital media is seen as a threat to legacy media wherever there is a decline in newspapers' readership, digital has been quoted as one of the major reasons. Whether digital is responsible for the decline in the growth of legacy media will be explored in the subsections later in this unit. In this section, the focus will be on the characteristics that made digital media a popular platform. 3.3.1 Interactivity The most important characteristic distinguishing digital media from traditional media is interactivity. It allows people to rate, share, like and comment on any message. There is a shift from the limited interactivity that traditional media offered earlier in the form of letters to the editor or feedback programs on TV and radio to the unlimited interactivity that digital media offers. This interactivity not only allows people to respond or react to the messages constructed by the media houses but also turns the consumer into a producer, wherein people are not just consuming media messages but also constructing media messages. This feature has turned passive consumers into active producers. Most news portals nowadays offer users opportunities to interact with the content in the case of interactive stories, interact with the content producers and provide space for user-generated content. The report for CNN is an example of how mainstream media encourages its audience to interact with the platform. Here, the interaction is not just by writing comments or rating stories done by CNN. Still, I report for CNN is an interactive, international monthly half-hour TV program showcasing the most newsworthy and informative I report contributions and citizen journalism reports on the internet. Besides sending it to the platform, citizens, 
कैन पोस्ट इट ऑन फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम और ट्विटर विद द हैश टैग हर्ष नायर पोर्ट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट टू कॉन्वर्जेंस डिजिटल मीडिया मेक्स द मर्जिंग ऑफ वेरियस मास कम्युनिकेशन फॉर्मेट्स लाइक प्रिंट टेलीविजन एंड रेडियो ऑन द इंटरनेट एवरी मीडियम रिसाइड्स नेक्स्ट टू अनादर यू कैन लिसन टू एन ऑडियो इंटरव्यू वॉच द इवेंट एंड रीड द स्टोरी साइमल्टेनियसली journalists are using one medium to tell one aspect of the story and another medium to tell another aspect for example a story on a satellite launch in india might use an explainer video to explain demonetization photographs to describe how it is being implemented text to analyze the initiative and audio for interviews with the experts all these elements could be combined to tell a story about launching a satellite this is also called multimedia journalism in this case each media element is an important part of the story multimedia reporting is usually confused with parallel reporting two or three journalists cover a story for print video or audio in parallel reporting in such cases these stories are independent as they are separate stories told by different journalists even if it is uploaded on the website the only thing they have in common is the subject otherwise stories differ in multimedia journalism various media elements are weaved into the story according to the story's requirements there are a number of digital tools which can help journalists to write multimedia stories some examples of multimedia stories can be seen at the following link https://infogar.am/examples.3.3.3 immediacy another important characteristic of digital media is immediacy on radio and television only one thing can be shown at one time and to show another the previous one has to be interrupted on websites one can have multiple stories and the same can be updated as the developments on those events occur a single story can post a number of updates on one story by introducing live broadcasts social networking sites have changed the game altogether traditional media houses as well as locals can broadcast any event live the broadcast feature offers many opportunities with just a smartphone in hand and no other infrastructure but at the same time the use of this feature has drawn a lot of criticism live broadcasts are a new trend and to add to this is the latest feature of 360 videos by the live broadcast app like periscope so it is not just a live shot but with 360 videos on periscope one can experience moments with the broadcaster and look around it's one step closer to being there 3.3.4 archiving another characteristic differentiating digital from legacy media is its inherent capacity to archive news stories videos audio and infographics the shelf life of news which used to be very limited has increased tremendously with all sorts of content lying on different shelves of the website one can visit that content anytime the tags and keywords act as keys to those shelves for example an article on global trade can be accessed by typing a search query in the search box If the article is given a tag like trade, Indian economy, etc., retrieving it from the repository of millions of articles will be easy. So it is important to have a well archived website, but at the same, it should be well searchable. Archiving can also help writers provide important context to what they are presently writing and can be an excellent resource for research. For readers it provides an opportunity for non-linear consumption of content they can create their own stories by reading different pieces written by different writers at different times 
3.3.5 linkages, archiving and information available on the web make linkages possible. It is easy to link the article to something written earlier on the same topic or with an article on the same subject written by a different writer. Linkages provide depth to the story. In digital, for any story, the amount of space is limited, as is the case in print, TV and radio, where there is limited space and time. In legacy media, the challenge is to tell the entire story in the limited time and space allocated to it, and digital media overcomes this challenge by providing links to other relevant material. It could be an article on the same website or some report lying outside it. While linkages broaden the story's scope and multiple angels can be explored simultaneously, they pose the challenge of losing a reader to another website or content. It becomes very difficult to bring readers back to the site once they are navigated out of the website to look for some other content. Therefore, it is important to use linkages strategically in any story. 3.4 Digital Media in India 3.4.1 Digital Landscape India is going through a digital revolution. The amount of growth India has seen in internet penetration is unprecedented. India has become the second largest country in the world regarding internet users with 692 million as of. 2023 People connected to the Internet after China The penetration is 34.8% according to http colon double forward slash www.internetlivestats.com Internet Live Stats is part of the Real-Time Statistics Project which provides live Internet data. The Government's Digital India Program Digital India Program has been launched by the Department of Electronics and Information Technology, Ministry of Communications and Information Technology, Government of India, has given a fillip to digital media in India. The Digital India campaign is centered around three visions, times digital infrastructure is a core utility for every citizen governance and services on demand, times digital empowerment of citizens. All the digital initiatives to fulfill the above-mentioned visions will significantly strengthen digital media in India. While it has already contributed to increasing the number of Internet users in India, implementing digital infrastructure as a core utility to every citizen will also increase Internet penetration, which is low compared to other countries. India has also seen tremendous growth in mobile use for data and voice. Though it took subscribers, India has become one of the largest mobile markets in the world. This trend encouraged people in the media industry to take media mobile apps seriously. Several media houses have created apps to connect with those 600 million subscribers. Also, because of the popularity of platforms, like WhatsApp and Facebook, there is a need to repurpose content for those consuming media messages. Media industry researchers have shown that media content creation, access and consumption have gone through enormous changes in the second decade of the 21st century, globally as well as in India, and shifts will be more dramatic over the next five years. Three main factors responsible for this trend are times technology and internet access, especially fast mobile data and broadband, times gadgets, especially smartphones and streaming media devices, times the app ecosystem. The growth in digital advertising has been the maximum over the last few years compared to other media segments. This massive growth is the increase in the internet user base, including mobile internet users, 3.4 point to digital media, historical perspective, digital media and print media. In India, the Hindu was the first newspaper to start its website in 1995. After that, 
most newspapers built their own websites to connect with those who had internet access. In 2007, Malayala Manorama became the first regional newspaper to establish its presence in digital media by launching a mobile app. Newspapers like the Times of India, the Hindustan Times, the Hindu and the Indian Express joined Twitter in 2009 to 2010. In 2012, TOI forayed into augmented reality by launching its Alive app. The app allows users to scan any picture or graphic and then take them to the relevant multimedia content. In 2013, mobile media apps became very popular. One app that emerged as a leader was InShorts. The app was an instant success based on the premise that people would like to consume messages quickly. Hence, the news is constructed to deliver the entire story in a few words to make their content easily accessible through search engines. Many media outlets forayed into search engine optimization and digital marketing. Social media marketing became as important as the content. Media houses train their staff or hire digital marketing agencies to be on top of the search. Engine result page list and get more clicks and traffic. A lot of experiments were being done in the ways news was told. A number of digital tools were explored that allowed the development of stories in different ways. This was the year of immersive storytelling. Malayala Manorama Online started offering 360-degree videos. Immersive storytelling aims to give the consumers a feeling of really being there by using 3D gaming, 360-degree videos and virtual and augmented reality technologies. The delivery of news and storytelling is made more hard-hitting and entertaining using advanced technologies, digital media TV, Online videos have exploded with the increase in internet connectivity and the availability of cheap smartphones. Anyone who had access to technology and internet-enabled phones also had the opportunity to create and disseminate videos. One could also do something unheard of until a few years back. One could create one's own channel. Depending on the interest, YouTube is full of channels on DIYs, politics, news, entertainment, travel, food, etc. The reach of many of these channels is much more than that of a traditional TV channel. The last few years have witnessed massive growth in the number of videos created and uploaded. In addition to internet, connectivity and cheap smartphones, this was made possible by new digital tools that allow creating and editing videos on the go. Most social networking websites like Facebook, Snapchat and Twitter integrated these tools so that anyone could create and disseminate these videos for the 42% of the world population connected to the Internet. Some of the emerging trends we are witnessing nowadays are immersive storytelling, 360-degree videos, video selfies, etc. The Quint, an online news platform, roped in Barkadat, a senior journalist during the 2017 state elections, UP, for new media journalism. She used selfie videos and Facebook Live extensively to cover UP elections. Also, the New York Times announced its launch on the Snapchat Discover forum in 2017. The idea was to reach 41% of all 18 to 34-year-olds in the U.S. Using Snapchat An average U.S. TV network reaches 6% of the same demographic. The Quint and the New York Times examples show how new technology shapes media messages construction. TV no longer has a monopoly over videos. Even online newspapers host videos on their portal, digital media and radio, considering the increase in internet penetration and growth of smartphone segments in India, traditional broadcast radio channels have taken their stations online 
and some companies run internet-based radio services, radio has remained a strong partner in the media and marketing mix. Radio broadcasters are adapting well to how digital channels are changing the industry. Turning mobile phones and the internet into a way to extend their brands, protect their listener share and reach new audiences. Radio stations these days have also created engaging websites and apps where audiences can listen to podcasts, stream radio broadcasts and experience visual, video, text or interactive content. 3.5 Digital Media and Journalism Emerging Trends 3.5.1 Data-Driven Journalism Data Journalism, Big Data and Data Analytics are buzzwords nowadays. Data is being used by media houses to tell stories. The open data movement has made it easier for communicators and journalists to access and use data. Many countries are releasing their data as open data so that the public can use it for various purposes. In India, the www.data.gov.in platform hosts data from all the ministries and departments. Promote a culture of data sharing and data utility for meeting larger socio-economic goals. Adhering to the norms laid out by this policy, the National Informatics Center, NIC, has set up Open Government Data, OGD, platform, India, http colon double forward slash data dot gov dot in, which is a state-of-the-art dynamic data sharing, platform espousing the principle of open government data. The portal has many rich features to support this policy, such as search discovery mechanism for instant access to various datasets of great importance community engagements around published datasets for innovative applications on open data with an ability to provide customized citizen services. Tools apps visualization developed by using this platform have played a pivotal role in increasing transparency and citizens' participation in the governance process worldwide. It is curated by a group of leading open data experts from around the world, including representatives from local, regional and national governments, international organizations such as the World Bank and numerous NGOs. The data on these platforms are freely available for the researchers to work on. According to David Anderton, a freelance journalist, data journalism is bridging the gap between statisticians and wordsmiths. Data journalism is about using sheer scale and range of digital information to tell compelling stories. Data journalism focuses not on what happened but on what a particular development means, there are several digital tools which are available to work on data-based stories. Some of the tools are as follows. 1. Google Fusion Table 2. Lucid Chart 3. Silk 4. Infogram 5. Pictochart 6. Tableau 7. Carto Activity 3. Explore the following website to see the amount and range of data available www.data.gov.in 3.5 point to digital stories. Digital stories are a new way of storytelling. This means telling stories by using computer-based tools. They are also known as digital documentaries, computer-based narratives, digital essays, electronic memoirs and interactive. Storytelling they all revolve around the idea of combining the art of telling stories with a variety of multimedia, including graphics, audio, video, and web publishing. The duration of digital stories is shorter, i.e. from 2 to 5 minutes. Some of the tools which are used to tell digital stories are 1. Powtoon, 2. Movely, 3. We Video, Activity, 4. Following is the link to the digital story on the Panama Leaks. Watch this to understand the concept which is explained with piggy banks. Find out more digital stories on the web and attempt to make one yourself on a subject of your choice. 3.5.3 Mapping in Journalism 
where is the important element of the five W's and one H in journalism? It describes where the event took place and can tell a great deal about the story, geography, culture, politics and economics have to do much with any event occurring at a particular place. So, if it is news about the Nepal earthquake, the geographical features of that place become important and if it is news related to the Arab Spring, the political environment of those countries in the Middle East becomes important. While a few years back, the name of the place in the story was enough or one or two shots of the location were adequate. Today, we are at a time when digitally savvy readers prefer to have immersive experiences. How about feeling the place, exploring more than? One shot offers navigating from one place to another or visiting different locations to find more information. It would be interesting and enriching to be a part of the scene and experience the fun, excitement, horror and pain accompanied by the story with live broadcasts and geotagging, much information is generated from various locations. The information generated from various sites can be an excellent resource for journalists. Putting this information together and converting it into a story can be challenging. Mapping can be a powerful storytelling tool which journalists can use to take their audience on a journey following a narrative storyline or to illustrate and make sense of fast-moving breaking news events, Catalina Albeanu 2014. Dot, mapping places and live broadcasts are emerging trends and to add to this is the latest feature of 360-degree video by the live broadcast app like Periscope. So it is not just a live shot, but with 360-degree video on Periscope, one can experience moments with the broadcaster and look around. It's one step closer to being there. The new technologies have made both the generation and storage of data possible. There is a lot of data based on locations. According to Gustavo Faleros, data journalist and media trainer, most data sets contain location-related information that makes them good candidates for mapping. Maps are also a great tool for allowing user interaction, said, and just a great way to tell stories. There are hundreds of tools available to create maps. Some are free, some paid, and some are available on the Fermium model. The learning curve for these tools is also varied. Some tools can be learned easily, and some have a steep learning curve. To get started, Google Maps is the easiest option. One can start by mapping schools, colleges, or the places to visit or places visited to begin with. Google My Maps can be accessed by searching in the search engine or go https colon double forward slash www.google.com forward slash maps forward slash d forward slash how to create your map times step 1 visit Google Maps and click on the menu times step 2 in the menu click your places times step 3 create maps other tools for mapping are 1. Google Fusion Table 2. Story Map 3. Carto 4. Infogram Activity 5. Create Your Map by Using Google My Maps 3.6 Challenges 3.6.1 Fake Information While digital media has made the work of communicators easier by providing cheap platforms and easy-to-use digital tools, it also poses many challenges for the producers and consumers of media messages. Digital media has undoubtedly democratized the media landscape by allowing others to create and disseminate. Anyone can be a producer, director, writer or distributor, but this also poses a lot of challenges. There is a lot of information available on the web that is inaccurate. Hence, a new term, Post-truth was coined, which means circumstances in which objective facts are less influential in 
shaping public opinion than appeals to emotion and personal belief, during the US presidential election, we have seen a barrage of fake news like the Pope's support for Donald Trump and Hillary's link with ISIS. Hundreds of fake websites were created in Macedonia to spread such false information. In India, too, we witness the continuous flow of such messages on WhatsApp, Twitter and Facebook. A lot of initiatives are being taken to curb this. Facebook has added its a fake news story options for the users to report any fake story. Facebook will also flag fake news stories with the help of users and third-party fact-checkers. Many third-party fact-checking organizations have sprung up in the last few years to curb the flow of false information. Organizations like the International Fact-Checking Network led the movement. As part of this network, more than 100 websites conduct fact checks. In India, two organizations conduct fact checks, fact check-in and check for spamcom Though there is a need for such initiatives, this should be supported by a digital literacy campaign 3.6.2 online abuse, threats and trolling, the internet has made lives easier for those who want to use it for constructive purposes and those who want to use it in destructive and disruptive ways. This practice of using the internet in destructive ways in a social setting with no apparent instrumental purpose is termed internet trolling. The concept has emerged recently and research is being done on internet trolling. The purpose and intent of trolls, their psychology and their process of creating chaos online is an important area of study considering the drastic increase in the number of such cases worldwide. A closer look at the trolls and their comments shows a pattern. From a person seeking attention by being disruptive to one enjoying hurting others and displaying sadism to the one taking advantage of being anonymous online, internet trolls can be categorized in a number of ways. Who are internet trolls? Internet trolls are individuals on the web who connect to create chaos. According to researcher Dr. Claire Hardaker, a troll is a computer user who constructs the identity of sincerely wishing to be part of the group in question, but whose real intention is to cause disruption and or trigger Conflict for the purposes of one's own amusement, Dr. Claire categorized trolls in the following manners according to their intent and the people or issues they target. 1. Rip trolls who spend their time causing misery on memorial sites. 2. Feign trolls who focus all their energies on provoking celebrities. 3. Care trolls who purport to see abuse in every post about children or animals. 4. Political trolls who seek to bully MPs out of office and many others besides Helen Lewis, 2014, in her article, Who are the Trolls?, published in New Statesman, added to more categories to this. 1. Subcultural trolls or true trolls are the ones who troll forums full of earnest people and derail their conversations with silly questions or hackers. Two professional trolls or columnists are writers and public figures whose media careers are built on their willingness to say the uncivil or rather say something which will attract huge volumes of attention, albeit negative, and hits reasons for internet trolling. US researcher Elise Marvick gives the following explanation for internet. Trolling, there's the disturbing possibility that people are creating online environments purely to express the type of racist, homophobic, or sexist speech that is no longer acceptable in public society, at work, or even at home. Anonymity, hence, is the biggest reason for internet trolling. This anonymity leads to online disinhibition, which is one of the characteristics of internet trolling. According to psychologist John Suler, 2004, some people 
सेल्फ डिस्क्लोज और एक्ट आउट मोर फ्रिक्वेंटली और इंटेंसली वेन दे आर ऑनलाइन He explored six factors that interact with each other in creating this online disinhibition effect: dissociative anonymity, invisibility, synchronicity, solipsistic introjection, dissociative imagination, and minimization of authority. Personality variables also will influence the extent of this disinhibition. All the above factors described by Sula trigger internet trolling. 3.7 summary digital media in india is growing at a very fast pace this trend will continue considering the various initiatives under digital india that will strengthen the digital infrastructure the indian media industry has embraced digital and all the platforms including print magazines tv and radio are adapting to remain relevant in the digital era Digital media offers a lot of opportunities like new ways of storytelling marketing and research still at the same time it is being criticized for creating a lot of chaos by spreading false information and issues like trolling have caught many's attention in recent years the medium offers many features it is up to the people how these features can be exploited constructively The vision of Digital India puts it very succinctly that with digital infrastructure for every citizen and government service on demand there is also a great need for digital empowerment of citizens if India has to become a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy Thank you for watching we will see you in the next video with next chapter